So I would anticipate a test of the wedge at the top and then maybe one more bit of consolidation before we break this one way or the other. Moving on to Tesla, which is still in the middle of this wedge pattern, and I just turned off the Confluence model to clean things up a little bit. And actually, I'll take off this trend line too from the last uptrend. And you can see how uptrends are just great indicators like we were talking about on the NVIDIA charts uh, and the TSM chart and all that for the semiconductors. Once these break down, it isn't always going to be a move like this, but these trend lines can just give you a leading indicator of momentum coming out of a move. But right now, Tesla is tightening up. Our charts are a bit overextended. We have this uh, local overhead resistance at that 332, which you can see we really battled with a few weeks ago. But if we can break through this, then I imagine we're going to go back up to test the top of the wedge, which right now would be at about 347 to, let's say, I don't know, 345, depending on when we intersect that. So just keep watching Tesla. They have had some positive news and it feels like momentum is starting to build a bit. So I would anticipate a test of the wedge at the top and then maybe one more bit of consolidation before we break this one way or the other. 